Okay, so in the visualizations, we're going to have exactly the same view with the two dimensions, category and country. But now in the LOD expressions, we're going to use the exclude, where we're going to have exclude category sum of sales. So now what we are telling Tableau is to go and exclude the dimension category from the visualization. So that means in the LOD expression on the right side, we're going to get all the dimensions from the visualizations and we will exclude now the category. So it's going to remove the category from the dimensions. And that means on the LOD expression now in this example, we have the country that's going to control the level of details in the LOD expressions and Tableau going to do the aggregations again, depending on this dimension. So that means the exclude function will always remove the dimensions that is specified in the calculation. And here the big difference between the exclude and the fixed, exclude is depending on the dimensions that we have in the view. So let's say that we have added in the view another dimension. So now we have product category and country. What can happen to the LOD expressions? Tableau going to take all those dimensions and will only exclude the category. That means the calculation now going to depend only on the product and the country. So as you can see, it is very dynamic and it depends on the visualizations. So the exclude will always react to the dimensions that are specified in the visualizations and going to remove the dimensions that we specify in the calculation. Okay, moving on to the second LOD function that we have, the exclude. So let's say that I would like to have the total sales inside the view, but I would like to ignore the dimension category. So in order to do that, we can use the exclude. Let's go and create a new calculated field. And let's call it sales exclude category. So we start with the function exclude. So let's select that. And then we're going to have to specify the dimension that should be excluded. It's going to be the category. After that, as usual, we have to define the aggregate calculation. It's going to be the sum of sales. And let's close the brackets. So it's very simple. We are telling Tableau to ignore always the category from the calculations. So everything is valid. Let's go and hit OK. And as usual, we will get our new calculated field in the data pane. Let's go and drop it on the view in order to check the results. So now if you check the new results, you can see we got different numbers from the sales by category or the original sales. So what is going on over here? And now since we are using the exclude function in Tableau, the LOD calculation is going to be depending on the dimensions of the view. So let's open again our calculated field and let's see what Tableau is going to do. So Tableau is going to depend on the dimensions that we have inside the view. So we will have in the LOD calculations the country and the category. But since we are here saying, okay, go and exclude, go and remove the category. So Tableau can remove the dimension category and with that we are left only with the dimension country so since we here have like duplicates and we have only three countries so at the end in the LOD expressions we will have three rows so now what Tableau gonna do gonna go and find the sales the total sales for each countries and the data source gonna be split it into the three groups for each country one so we have France Germany and USA so that means Tableau gonna go for example for France and go and summarize all the sales for those three orders and put the results at the output then goes for the same as well for Germany and take all those sales summarize it and get as well in the results the total sales for Germany and and then we have for the USA those four orders and that we're going to go and summarize the sales for that. So with that, the output of the LOD expression is going to look like this. We have the country and the total sales of countries. So now if you compare it to the view to the results that we have, as you can see, as we exclude the category, we're going to have the total sales for each country. So here France, we have 172. And as well for the second category, we have France, we will get exactly the same total sales. And the same thing going to happen for Germany. So we will have exactly the same values in both categories. So for Germany, we will get this value and as well, for the monitoring in Germany, we will get this value. So as you can see, once you understand what is going on in the background, you will understand the numbers in the view. So as we say that the exclude is dynamic, it is not like the fixed. We will not get always those results. It's really going to depend on the views, on the dimensions that we have in the view. Let's take, for example, let's add another dimension to the view. Let's go and get the customers. So let's go to the customers, take the first name and let's drop it over here. So now if you look closely to the data, you can see the fixed, those numbers, nothing changed inside it because it's always fixed to the category dimension. But the exclude this time, they have different numbers. So if you go and compare what do we have at the start, at the total sales for countries, those numbers, you don't find it anymore in this sales over here. And that's because we have added a new dimensions. We don't have only the country. We have as well the first name of the customers. So that means now we have in the LOD expressions, two dimensions, the country and the first name. 
So the result, the output of the LOD expression gonna look like this. We have two dimensions, country and the first name. We don't have the category, we exclude it, we remove it from the view. And then we have the total sales for this combination of dimensions. So the total sales for George from France, total sales for Maria from Germany and so on. And those numbers are exactly the same that you are seeing in the view. So as you can see, the exclude function is dynamic and depends on the dimensions that are presented inside the view. So this is how it works. Alright everyone, so now in this use case, we want to compare the sales of all categories to the sales of a specific category, like here selected one, the tables, in order to understand how the sales of the other categories are doing to this specific category. So in order to build such a view, we have to use the power of LOD expressions. This time we're going to use the exclude. So let's learn step by step how to create such a view. Alright, so now let's start with the first step where we want to show the sales by subcategory. So this is the easiest one. Let's go and grab the subcategory to the rows and let's take the sales to the columns and then we're gonna go and sort the sales so let's go and do that now our task is to go and find the differences between each subcategory with a specific subcategory the tables so for example we're gonna go and find the difference between the sales of phones and the sales of tables so that means in order to find the differences in each row we need two measures the first measure is gonna be the sales of the current category like for example the sales of the phone and the second measure we need the sales of the tables so here we need the sales of the tables to be as well at the same row so the first measure we have it already right we have here the sales for each category but the second one we don't have it yet so we need to have for each row the sales of the tables in order to do that we're going to go and create a new calculated field to have these tasks so let's go and create a new calculated field so let's call it sales of tables what you want to check now is whether the subcategory the current one is tables if yes then show the sales so we're going to use the if statements then we want to check the subcategory if it equals to tables you should write it exactly like the data that we have inside the data source. So what can happen? We want to show the sales. Otherwise, do nothing. So we want to have nulls if the subcategory is not tables. So what we are doing now is isolating the sales of the subcategory tables. So let's go and hit OK and let's go and bring it to the view over here. So with that, as you can see, we have isolated the sales of the tables in this new measure, but we still have the problem that we would like to repeat this value for each row. So as you can see, we have it only if the subcategory equals to tables. So now in order to repeat this value for all the rows, here comes the trick or the magic of the LOD expression exclude. As we learned before, the exclude gonna go and repeat the values, right? So we can go and use this trick. So what we're gonna tell Tableau is that, imagine that in this view, there is no subcategory. So what gonna happen? This measure gonna be repeated for all rows. Let's go and do that. So let's go and create a new calculated field. So we're gonna call it exclude subcategory. So now we have to use the nested calculations because if we put everything in one calculation, it's gonna be really complicated. So now we want to tell Tableau, imagine that we don't have subcategory in our view. So exclude subcategory and the aggregation gonna be the sum, but this time of the new measure that we created for the tables. So some sales of tables and then we have to close it. So something like this. So we are telling Tableau, exclude the subcategory from the view and do the aggregations. So let's see what's going to happen. Hit OK and drag and drop to the view over here. So as you can see, since we have only one value and we are ignoring completely the subcategory, we will get the same value repeated for each rows. So now we have all what do we need to find the differences, right? We have the sales of each categories and the sales of specific category, the tables. So now we're going to move to the last step where it's going to be the easiest part where we want to find the difference between those two measures. So we're going to go and subtract them. Let's go and create a new calculated field. Let's call it difference. And then we're going to subtract the first value. It's going to be simply the sum of sales. This is going to be the first value that we have over here. Then with our new measure, it's going to be the sum of our exclude function. So exclude subcategory. And that's it. Let's go and hit OK. And let's drop it to the view. So with that we solve the task, we have the differences between the sales of each category and the sales of a specific category, the tables. And of course you can see the table is going to be zero over here because we are subtracting the sum of sales with the exactly the same sales. So it is a little bit tricky, but if you understand how the LOD expressions works, you can really do such analyzers. So now let's go and drop everything from here. We don't need those sub steps. So I'm just going to remove them. And now, of course, we can add the coloring over here. So let's go to the measure on the right side. 
and let's take the measure to the colors and with that we can see nicely the differences between the subcategories and the tables so now if you'd like to highlight the tables since it's our main category where we're comparing all the others to it we can make the use of the sales of tables so let's switch to this measure over here to the sum of sales and the marks and then let's take the sales of tables and put it on the colors and with that you are highlighting the main subcategory so with that we have made really complicated analyses using the LOD expressions and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then I really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye